one focus and with one mission. And that focus and mission is to remove the People's National Movement from office. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing a behavior within the political arena, something that we have never ever witnessed before in this country. We are seeing the, br the brutal action of the PNM, the blatant disrespect for law and order, the sufferation of every constituency, notwithstanding what is happening within our rural communities, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as I speak, ladies and gentlemen, from Matlot to Cedrus the Carcass, the infrastructure continue to deteriorate. Matlot Road, in some cases, is one way. When we look at Clark Road in Penal, we have seen a portion of that road closed. Okay, people. We are the looking at the SS Erin Road, just before Sibalek, heading south. And on the right-hand side, you will see it's only a matter of time right now, before that road also collapse. We have seen in quarry on the SS Erin Road, same thing one way. We have seen, ladies and gentlemen, down in Sobo Extension in Labre, the road is on the verge of collapsing. In Happy Hill slash Robert Hill in Siparia, again, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the kind of neglect and wickedness that we continue to experience by a government who show no mercy for you, the poor, the oppressed, and the downtrodden. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that within the constituency of Labre, there have been protest action throughout this week. And ladies and gentlemen, last week rather, and ladies and gentlemen, I want Keith Rowley and Fitzgerald Hines to know the Minister of National Security and Faris Alwari and the whole of the PNM that the people who were protesting in that constituency, it is PNM people. While Fitzgerald Hines will stand up and said to the media that it's UNC, and a matter of fact, consider the people who are standing up for their rights in that constituency as terrorists. Tonight, I want to tell Hines and Rowley that the only terrorists in this country, it is the PNM government, because they are the ones who continue to terrorize the life and livelihood of the citizens. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have a new acronym for Heinz. I have an acronym for Heinz. It is the three Ds. And I want if anybody could tell me tonight what that three Ds stand for. That three Ds, ladies and gentlemen, stand for dumb, dunce, and dotish. That is the Minister of National Security. Because if a Minister of National Security who continues to sleep in the Parliament, I don't know if he's studying at night. I don't know if he wants to be first in class. But I, should, I am suspecting that that man continue to spend time because he wants to top the class. And in order to top the class, ladies and gentlemen, you have to have high grades. Your grades have to be high. And if you examine what I'm saying, then you will understand why he continues to sleep in the parliament instead of looking after the interests of the people of this country ladies and gentlemen i am telling you tonight that this pnm government they have reshuffled and they have moved one failure and put him in our next ministry and creates a bigger failure when you look at faris alwari a man who never win one matter in this country they move Faris from national from uh, attorney general and put him in rural and local government. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I am saying it has to be a curse with the PNM. Because as the rain smile, MP Dave Tanku have to go out and try to rescue people in his constituency. As the rain smile. You cannot come down the highway because they refuse to clean the drains. 
They refuse to look after the infrastructure that will bring ease to you, the people in this country. And tonight, I want to ask the people of this country if they will continue to sit down and allow this government to perpetrate all the evil and all the wickedness without standing up. You see, tonight, I am going to make a call for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I remember, I believe it was Fitzgerald Hines who had made a call back in 2014, 2015 for thousands of people to come out on Rice Road. Well, I am making a call tonight for thousands and thousands of people to come out and stand up in your community against this government. Protest in your community. That is my call. We had an incident in Palo Seco. And for some reason, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you how the police service under PNM Jacob continues to, ad to adhere to whatever his bosses. You see, we caused that problem. You know, you know why? Because when the police service collapsed by the interference of Keith Christopher Rowley, the president, Blissy Passard, and others, the people of this country sit down. They sit down and remain quiet. And now, because of that collapse, we have Jacob sitting with a pajama in the seat of the police commissioner. And today, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob continue. I saw Jacob Heinz walking somewhere recently and i saw jacob foot and foot behind hines i am asking myself if the police service has now become a pnm party group because what we are seeing is the acting commissioner of police allegedly following the instructions of the prime minister and the minister of national security so in this country today you cannot stand up the people stand up in Palo Seco recently. And you know what happened? Six police vehicles, over 17 police, came to my house. And what they said to me, Inspector Marcel, what he said to me is that intelligence tell them that I am responsible for the unrest in that constituency. So I said to Marcel, if it is that information came from the piece of equipment that you all get from Israel. Send it back because that piece of equipment misleading you, the people. But to the end of the day, to the end of the day, what they were interested in, as I leave to came up, come up to do a program on Friday, a police sergeant stopped me and showed me on his telephone where from command center they state that the protests in Palo Seco, it is organized by the UNC and Victor Roberts is the agent of the UNC to ensure that the protests continue and that is the games they play with you but ladies and gentlemen we must acknowledge we must realize that this police service Today, under the leadership, I wonder if I should say leadership, but under Jacob, the officers of themselves are despondent. You know why? Because they themselves know for a fact that they have no leader. It is each man do what he could do because Jacob is bent on following the instructions of the PNM. When we believe that we had an in independent institution in this country, I want to tell you tonight as we wrap up that there is no independent institution in this country anymore. The EBC, the police service, the judiciary, the law association, it seems the integrity commission, it seems as though every one of these institutions now becomes a PNM party group. My time is up. God bless. Have a good night.